And what I'm doing is that I, I, I just clean it with very carefully with this cloth. And then when I get the, the worst of the wetness out, then I start a new procedure to dry out, to help it to dry out quickly and not drawing it like this, right? The reason is because if you could see this in an electromagnetoscope, then you would see huge black mountains turning from black, and then when you go down the mountain, it looks like dark copper. So you don't want to, you don't want to destroy the upper layer of all those small mountains. And then, when this plate is dry, which is the case now, you take a new container, and just a small amount, of distillated water. The reason is because distillated water is smoother than salt water. And the reason for this procedure is because you don't want the amount of caustic soda uh, to interfere too much with the operation from the nano field getting its secret marriage with the with the metal When you can see no boiling reactions, it's getting clear. And make sure that the whole surface has a full amount of distillated water. It has to dry because you don't want to take the water molecules from the distillated water into the salt water. It is a practical little thing to know that when you attach the copper field, you press it like this. Why? Because then you are sure that the connections are connections. Then, I connect the, the plate and I'm connecting it to the gold very carefully since it's gold. I took the weakest chain because I want the fat chain to be in the salt water. Okay. But if you don't do this, if you don't make the connection, then the field is going to work slower through the oxygen from the air or the um, air molecules and the water molecules. You want this to be a dance. And a typical universe, it's circular, not linear. The water molecules are talking. They don't have to move. The reason why you're moving is to increase the amount of, of GANs. This is going to be a very good GANs. When you connect the metal, you want to take the air molecules for air molecules, not half water molecules and air molecules. So you, make, you want to make the connection as a connection, not like a salt water dive. So now I 
I'm already very happy here, <laughs> but I'm not finished the procedure. Next procedure is to take one of my boxes uh, where I use the nano coat. If you look at this project, then you can see it looks like water. That means that it is a mixture for molecules and um, caustic soda. But there is no nanomaterial in it. That's very important. It's because if you do have nanoparticles in it, that's going to be part of your GANS. That's not what you want. You want the field from the nanomaterial, not the nanomaterial itself. You take that drops, a bit here, a bit there, and a bit here. Now, now we are, we are on the exciting pages because the field are going to show us the, the result of our effort. And that's what we want to see. This kind of reaction is a, is a sign of a very early success. Early, it means in a couple of seconds. If we observe what is going on here, you have to look very closely. Then you can see that you have a respond with the fields. How can you be sure? Look at the nanoplate and the water molecules. Now I'm helping the field to get more and more powerful. A beautiful little talk with the universe using, of course, consciously the air molecules, the water molecules, and in this case, salt water molecules, the sea water molecules are very, very mystical. We have natural DNA, natural contact with the essence of the material from this side and the essential skills from the nanomaterial. The field and the nanomaterial itself are not to be mixed up. The container and the salt water have something in common, silicon. Now this stage is the end stage of the first operation. This is how far you can go this time around. 